Black Wednesday occurred on the 16th of September 1992 when the British government was forced to withdraw the pound sterling from the European exchange rate, the ERM. After a failed attempt to keep the pound above the lower currency exchange limit mandated by the ERM at the time, the United Kingdom held the presidency of the European communities. In 1997, the UK Treasury estimated the cost of Black Wednesday at 13.4 billion, which was revised to 3.3 billion in 2005, following documents released under the Freedom of Information Act. Treasury papers suggested that if the government had maintained 24 billion foreign currency reserves and the pound had fallen by the same amount, the UK could have made 2.4 billion profit on the pound sterling devaluation. The crisis damaged the credibility of the second major ministry in handling of economic matters. The ruling Conservative Party suffered a landslide defeat five years later at the 1997 general election and did not return to power until 2010. The rebounding of British economy in the years after Black Wednesday led to a reassessment of the legacy of the crisis as the major government's adoption of inflation targeting policy as an alternative to the ERM set the foundations for a prosperity economy in the years prior to the financial crisis of 2007-2008 and the British public increasingly turned Eurosceptic after this point. You have people like George Soros who made £2 billion on that day which was a lot of money back in 1992 and has never been held to account for this.